Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our 3 minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic in the series on prayer is Collective Prayers Part 2 and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Acts chapter 12 and verse 12. So when he had considered this, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose son name was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. A few episodes ago, we spoke about the role the early church, through their prayers, played in the miraculous deliverance of Peter. The last day, we also spoke about the power that is released when believers gather to pray. Today's scripture shows the practical way the early church did these prayers. People gathered together in houses and just prayed. These prayers were so intense that sometimes the Bible records that the houses where they were gathered physically shook. There was no drama. No looking for big venues, probably no instruments. These guys just gathered and prayed their hearts out. They believed that their prayers could change things and they prayed. They prioritized praying together. Prayer meetings are the least attended meetings today because believers do not believe in the efficacy of their prayers. There are even churches that do not have prayer meetings. I am praying for a change of direction. I am praying for you as well as for myself that we will return to the pattern of the early church, that we will return to the place of consistent collective prayers. Like I said before, in the early church, these people gathered despite the fact that they had their own jobs, careers, and other commitments. They prioritized their prayers and they prayed. We need to pray, my dear listener. The world has become so dark and depraved that there needs to be some kind of intervention. That intervention can and will come when we pray. Gather people of like minds and just pray. It is actually our responsibility to pray some things into existence and pray others out. So please, if you have not already, join a prayer group and let your voice join the host of believers all over the world that are ministering to God regularly through prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.